Violent video games have been the subject of argument between leading professionals regarding their rejection and prohibition as in other forms of media. Debates often center on topics such as video game graphic violence, sex, violent and gory scenes, partial or full nudity, portrayal of criminal behavior or other provocative and objectionable material. <coughs> Video games have been studied for links to addiction and aggression. One meta-analysis of several studies found that exposure to violent video games causes at least a temporary increase in aggression and that this exposure correlates with aggression in the real world. A de decrease in pro-social pro behavior, caring about the welfare and rights of others was also noted. However, other meta-analyses using similar methods or focusing more specifically on serious aggressive behavior have come to opposing conclusions, stating that video game violence is not related to aggressive behavior. Many potential positive effects, violent effects have been even Post. <coughs> Recent search have suggest that behavior and may actually have a positive relationship in some contexts, for example, simply. It has been argued there is that the video game industry has become a this easy target for the media to blame for many modern day problems. The Entertainment Software Association states that 20% of video game players are boys under the age of 17, and 27% are over 15, and 50, and that the average game player is 34. In a survey of 1,102 teenagers aged 12 to 17, 97% of them said that they played video games. Also, half of the boys who were asked about their favorite games was that a game with an M major or AO, models only, and 14% of the girls liked the A models only games. First of all, I think that if the kids can tell the difference between reality and virtual reality, then they don't need to be playing those games. Their parents should pay more attention to their kids and some games are rated by age group because you're supposed to be at least a certain age to play that game. Play that game. They shouldn't let their kids play the games that they are not old enough for. So, so, society has decided to embrace violent video games which as a result are very profitable. These games are written for adults rather than, rather than children and the rating system warns of any violent content. In a modern world, the role of protecting Young people should lie with responsible parents who know their kids best and take an active interest in their leisure time, discouraging and bearing them from unsuitable activities. In this case, there is not enough justification for governments to intervene in people's leisure time. Ten old child in Moscow jumped off a 19 stair building after losing video game opportunity. 
Not only did said child suffer a terrible death, the same study showed that as he got more and more interest in video games, his grades in school began to plummet. This study concluded that not only do gamers quickly turn to suicide, but video games also impair school performance. And that was only one case recently. A 14-year-old boy hung himself after his run escape account was cancelled. Another 12-year-old boy jumped out of his apartment building to his death after World of Warcraft has taken was taken away from him for a week. All these cases prove that we cannot allow, allow violent video games to exist any longer.